morning everyone and welcome to another beautiful day here in the charming city of Bucharest. So today I wanted to explore some of the street food here. So first up we're going to a very local bakery called Luca. Then next we're going to head to Obermarket which is meant to be one of the biggest local food markets here. And then later on we're going to check out a place called Shwarma Vanessa. So I'm really thrilled to be experiencing the food here and let's get it started with breakfast. Hello, can I please get three of the Luca High Do Sis? Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Multimess. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we've got our Luca and it seems like these Luca stalls are all across the town and no matter what time of the day that you go, the food there is always really hot and fresh. I think because they have Luca in quite popular locations, so they always have a high turnover of food there. Okay, so here we have it. I'm really excited to dig into this, so here we go. Mm. <laughs> I've actually been walking for about 10 minutes with these in my hands and I was getting so hot because these were straight out of the oven. So, wow, this is what they look like on the inside. You can see there's the deli meat and the cheese. It's really nice because it's crispy on the outside and then as you bite into it, you can just taste that it's kind of gooey and smooth. It's really nice. If you get one of these, you definitely have to get the one that has the cream cheese. I think it's cream cheese inside. So I ordered three of these. And for three high desists, it was 12 lei. They also, I don't know if you can see, but they have onion inside, which I think gives these the extra flavor. You can really taste the sourness of the onion. I'm so happy right now. I'm gonna go take these up to Carlos for his breakfast as well. We have just got to the Ober Markets and it's a Saturday so it's really busy here. But it's so cool because you can just see all the locals in their element, they're buying food, fruit and veggies, lots of knickknacks, Christmas decorations. It's just a really great ambience to be on today. <laughs> Carlos is so happy. A lot of cute old ladies here. Yeah, there's so many cute old ladies. <laughs> They're adorable. <laughs> We're definitely in our element. I think this is really cool. It's quite unique. They sell the eggs inside a little booth like this, so it's indoors. And then you have to ask the lady in there how much you want. This is so awesome. Romanian eggs. And there's so many booths as well for eggs. Wow, look at all the Christmas trees. There's so many Christmas trees here. Nuts. Walnuts. Wow. 28 lei for 1 kg of walnuts. Look at them nice and fresh. Really big juicy walnuts. Oh, and prunes. Wow, the prunes look so fresh. What's that? Wine. <gasps> Wine, wow. They just sell it in a big container. Wow. So these are like the Romanian pretzels. Thank you. Wow. The lady just gave me some for free. Wow, that was so nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> Multi -mask. Wow, that was so kind. She gave me like a whole handful of pretzels. Ah, I'm gonna try it anyway. Mmm, <laughs> wow. They're nice and crunchy. Where's Carlos? Oh, he's over there. These are so good. They're so tasty. Bye -bye. She's trying to <laughs> offer Carlos some pretzels as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're so friendly here. Wow. We're inside now and it seems like there's more fruit and veggies in here as well. And there's even upstairs so we need to go check that out soon. But yeah, wow. Look at this. So cool. Oh wow. The clementines look so orange. It's beautiful. Clementine. <laughs> Clementine, yeah. It looks nice. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, look how juicy everything looks. 
Oh wow, the strawberries look really good. The mushroom is massive. Look. The what? Well, this market seems to go forever. There's more things through this way. Seems like more fruit and veggies again. is gonna buy some propolis from this lady. From this lady, instead of buying Brazilian propolis, today I'm buying Romanian propolis. <laughs> it's a really good way to boost your metabolism, make sure you don't get sick. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what we use back home. There you go, cute lady. <laughs> Not a mess. So upstairs they have all the butchers and you can get different types of cured meats, fresh meats and they also sell a good selection of fresh cheeses and I even saw a lady that had a biscuit shop so they've got a very wide variety of different types of food. Lots here. of olives as well. Yeah lots of olives like really fresh looking olives. Double chocolate calda. Uh, we just got our hot drinks at this guy here selling drinks from a window. <laughs> And I got a hot chocolate and Carlos got a coffee. <laughs> it's so nice. It's not actually that cold today, but it's nice to have hot chocolate. So this section here seems to have like all of your household goods and just knick-knacky kind of bits and pieces. It has lots of different types of spices for your cooking needs. You've got some nuts, caju. dried you fruit. Same thing in Portuguese, caju. Do you? Oh. Yeah, cashew. Oh, your yeah, cashews, yeah, caju. Yeah, caju. Nice. Marmelada. Uh -huh. But what that is one it? is made of guava. Is it a sweet? Yeah, it's sweet. Sweet. Oh. My grandma used to love that. What do you eat it with? You eat with cheese or just by itself, or you can put it between cookies. Oh. Uh, delicious. Like a jam. No, it's goya butter. <laughs> wow, from the top here, you can really just see how big this market is. And this is only one section of the overmarket. So, it's crazy. Okay, so we just got our meat off the kind lady over there and there was also a lovely lady who was also helping us translate because she didn't speak any English. Mm -hmm. So I've got two meat with mustard and a lovely On a case, French bread. Yeah, on a case of French bread. So it's looking quite delicious now. It's like a late lunch for us. So... And how much did that cost, baby? 13 late. Wow. <laughs> Which is like three dollars. How does it taste? The meat's so juicy. Mm. Really, it's got a bouncy texture to it. And the bread is pretty fluffy too. Very fresh. Yeah, it's very fresh. It's like you can see it's like kind of crunchy, but it's also still fluffy. So you can see it's still fresh. And the mustard is a good touch too. Mm. <laughs> Look at that. I'm falling out of the bun. Buena. I love you, America. <laughs> Thank you. They're very proud of their food here. That's so delicious. Now this tastes like good food, right? This is really good food. I'm Compared so... to that fresh restaurant we went? Yeah. It's like as you bite into the meat, it just like juices up in your mouth. So you can't eat meat without having a beer. So Carlos has ordered us two beers here. I think I got a skull and he got the local versus retro beer. I'm gonna have a sip of this before we eat another yeah. sausage. <laughs> and for both beers was eight lays and fifty cents, so pretty good price too. Local price. It's a tasty beer. Mm-hmm. And we also copy the guy yeah. next to us. He had a one of those big sausages. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> he had one of those big meaties right there. And we wanted to he eat had a the large same. Romanian sausage. We he, wanted to copy his order. Yeah, so. I don't want his sausage. Yeah, I, mean, I want the meat. <laughs> <Maybe. laughs> I've just cut it open, and we're gonna put some mustard on it. It seems to be the thing to do here, isn't it? Have sausage and mustard. Yeah, but the mustard here is really good. Yeah, it gives it that. Extra you know, flavor. yeah, it's not like American mustard. How's that one, baby? The meat here is so juicy. The lady behind you is adorable. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's always smiling. Just washing down that last bite of sausage with another sip of beer. Score! Cheers! Wow! 
So we just stopped off at this trauma place and it's kind of out of town. If you catch a train, it takes about an hour to get here. So I got a chicken shawarma. Mmm! Wow! This is genuinely really good. Wow. Different than other kebabs? Yeah, actually it's quite different. Chicken How so? Has, like the chicken's a little bit, not spicy, but just a little bit spicy. Um, is that chipotle? I have no idea, but chipotle. I just say yes to everything he asks. It's like the chipotle or spicy mayo. <laughs> it tastes really nice. And there's some raw onion in there, cabbage. I can see some gherkins. And just a whole lot of shawarma goodness. Gherkins is pickles, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry. <laughs> Got it. I really like how it's encased in this plastic bag here because if you've eaten a shawarma kebab before you'll know that they always leak and all the juices come out down the bottom. So this really is the perfect way to eat shawarma. If you enjoyed watching this video you know what to do and don't forget to click on my playlist above to continue watching. My heart away, went a bit too far.